Hi everybody, a quick video that hopefully will inspire you to make your heavy weapon teams look a little bit different than what comes out of the, the box set. So key point here is I don't use any uh, extra parts from elsewhere, all aside I think uh, one hand from a LAS gun. Um, so the intent here is to show you how to use what comes in the box and make it look a bit different. So I think there's three places you can sort of uh, three places you can look at. Firstly, it's the sandbags. You get one sandbag uh, per per team. So maybe you could save a few up, like I have with the mortar team just there, and make like a little defensive wall. Um, and I've also got one else um, in the background there as well. So maybe with the sandbags, as I said, maybe make like a big pile of maybe th three or four maybe on one kit. So to really sort of show that built up fortification look. Of course, also chop the bayonets off because you've got bayonets on all of them. Next is actually in relation to the spare magazines, uh, missiles, mortars, or charge packs, the LAS gun, for the heavy weapons. You can see that uh, auto cannon team there, just as it comes around. I've got two piled up there. I've actually just bought two more sets of heavy weapon uh, squads. Uh, so I'm going to cut out some more drums and probably lay a few more out to sort of finish the look of these guys. So yeah, and also the mortar team there, you can see the, uh, the chap, the mortarman, has got a couple of spare rounds lying around as well. So it gives that more of a realistic look as opposed to just having one or two rounds also then the las gun so i've ensured that every single squad has got two las guns so two individual weapons uh, for each of the soldiers um, in reality using weapons is big uh, most militaries ensure that actually the gunner would also have a personal weapon as well as you can see i've got two las guns laid out for each squad and then lastly onto the actual uh, miniatures or the men themselves so the hardest thing I find actually making this kit look very uh, different is the lack of the right arm. You only really get one, uh, which is basically the pointing hand. So unfortunately, I've had to use across three sets, but what I've actually done on this guy that comes around now, uh, the autocannon team, is his right arm is basically borrowed from the mortarman. I chopped out the mortar and made it look as though he actually was grabbing onto a, a new magazine. Um, the left hand is actually a bit better because I think you get three in the kit and they're all a bit different. You can use them to uh, sort of be shielding his face from the sun or for most of the moats you use it as always um, yelling at his buddy uh, or giving fire control orders uh, to the gunner. And then lastly with the gunners themselves, they're pretty straightforward. Uh, obviously the mortarman's really easy, it looks really good. Holding that round up, about to drop it down the tube. But uh, this guy here, as he comes around, what I've done is I've used a left hand from a las gun squad uh, to, like his cock in the weapon, and a right hand has always dropped the, uh, the, uh, the shovel. So there you have it. Nice quick video. If you liked it, like, subscribe, comment, uh, or please share. Otherwise, chat to you later. See ya.